In today's video, I'm going to go over five different cannabinoids. Now, the most common cannabinoid that people think of when they think of cannabis is THC. Now, here is a jar of THC distillate. It is basically as close to pure THC as we can get. It's THC distillate typically ranges between 70% on the extremely low end and 98, 99% on the high end. But typically distillate will be between 90 and 95% on average THC. Now this is THC, not THCA. It's been fully activated, so it's good for edibles. And it's typically what is mixed into edibles when you have them. Rather than using a weed oil or something when you're making um, gummies, like that's like coconut oil is not supposed to be in gummies. It's much easier and better to just use some pure THC, put it in there, and you're good. The next most common one is CBD, of course. Now CBD is an isolate, not a distillate, which just basically means that they've isolated the compound to make it more pure. It's 99.9% .9 plus. Um, on high quality CBD, and it's a powder. So as you can see here, it's a white fluffy powder, similar to flour in texture. CBD won't get you high, but it does give you many of the beneficial effects of cannabis. Okay. Now besides CBD and THC, we start to get into the more rare cannabinoids. And check out my store, cartonpod.com, where you can purchase vape pods, vape carts, terpenes, syringes, and more. Be sure to check it out. Now, one of the more rare cannabinoids is CBG. CBG is also an isolate and comes as a white powder. So as you can see, it is a white fluffy powder, just like the uh, CBD, basically. CBG is a minor cannabinoid because it's usually found in a less than 1% ratio in the cannabis plant. Plants normally produce CBGA, which is the precursor to most other cannabinoids, THCA, CBDA, and CBCA. The CBGA is usually immediately converted into THC or CBD in the plant. However, breeders have found ways to increase the CBGA content of their cannabis flower to have higher yields for extraction. The effects of CBG are still being studied with no human trials, but studies in mice have found decreased inflammation, increased appetite. It was also shown to protect the neurons in the brain of mice with Huntington's disease, which slowed the degradation of their brains. CBG was also shown to block receptor cells in one study of cancer cells with mice. CBG will not get you high directly, Wow! But it can modify the high of THC. How it changes the high is different for everyone as this is also lacking study. If you have experienced CBG and mixed it with THC, let me know how it's affected you in the comments below. Personally, in my opinion, it gives you more of a flower-like high when mixing it with THC distillate uh, when you smoke it with a vape pen. CBN is another cannabinoid that will also not get you high. No. Is another isolate <laughs> that is found as a pure white powder. So a plant typically starts with THCA. When you decarb that, it will form THC, which is the psychoactive compound that gets you high. By smoking or by decarbing, the THCA is converted to THC. Eventually, THC itself will also degrade, and that THC degrades into CBN. Studies have shown that CBN has antibacterial properties, and in rodent studies, has delayed the onset of ALS showing that it may be a powerful neural protectant. In another rodent study, CBN was shown to increase the amount of food that the rats ate, showing that it may be an appetite stimulant as well. Some think CBN makes you feel sleepy and others argue against it. There have been no human trials that actually show that CBN has any sedative effects. So the fact that CBN or that over decarbed weed might make you sleepy is purely hearsay. There is no scientific evidence that this is true. However, it is different for everyone. Let me know your opinion of that in the comments as well. Personally, when I try CBN, I think it makes me a little sleepy compared to when I smoke weed normally. But you no, know, that just might be placebo effect because that's what everybody thinks that that's what that does. Now, one of the most rare cannabinoids I have here is CBC. 
CBC is made when CBGA converts into CBCA and then finally into CBC. CBC is also non-psychoactive. Seeing a trend here, basically the only psychoactive compounds that we've discovered so far are derivatives of THC. But scientists are continually discovering new cannabinoids and hopefully we can discover some more that have a psychoactive effect as well. Such as the discovery of THCV, which has a very strong psychoactive effect, but sadly I have not been able to personally try that yet. CBC has been found in studies to block pain and inflammation found in certain types of arthritis. In a mouse study, CBC was found to have a positive effect on neural stem progenitor cells in mice, improving healthy brain function. CBC was also shown to be a powerful inhibitor of acne, as well as may have antidepressant effects when combined with THC and CBD. Most importantly, CBC is a pure liquid at room temperature, a very runny liquid. And because of this, CBC is excellent for lowering the viscosity of your vape parts. If your vape oil is just too thick, and or you say you want to mix live resin or rosin or some other thick concentrate with CBC, that will lower its viscosity and allow you to vape it more easily. And what better thing to lower the viscosity of your cannabinoids than another cannabinoid? I mean, it's the healthiest, safest option. If you can find clean, pure CBC, you're better off using this as a liquidizer than any other product on the market. I would still recommend using a small amount of terpenes for flavor, effect, and to lower the viscosity additionally. However, CBC is, you're able to use a lot more than the three to 5% of terpenes that I would recommend. With CBC, you could go 20, 50% or higher. In an upcoming video, I'll show you mixing CBC with CBD isolate to create a CBD vape cart that has no terpenes, no THC, no PG, VG, just cannabinoids. In the meantime, if you have any questions about any of these cannabinoids, or you would like to hear me attempt to pronounce them, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to help support the channel, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and check out my store, cartandpod.com. Be sure to check it out.